And welcome back to more of this, which we are almost done with. Yay! It's kind of repetitive. I've already done it once. Regardless, we are on to Operation Overlord, which is the final mission. Um, it's also probably one of the most obnoxious missions, in my opinion. Actually, no. Mm, mind games is pretty annoying. But regardless, on to Overlord. Gotta keep this one short and sweet, Commander. The Seraphim are rushing to complete their arch, and we need to prevent that from happening. With QAI destroyed and the Order descending into anarchy, this is the time to strike. The mission is simple. You will go to Earth and destroy the arch. Fletcher and Riser will gate in first and clear the area around your LZ. Once you're on the ground, build up your forces and attack. The destruction of the arch does not mean the end of the Seraphim threat, however. The rift still must be sealed. Once the arch is destroyed, I will travel to Earth and enter the rift. Once inside, I shall close it forever. There's no reason for you to do that, Princess Burke. We've got techs working on a solution. They just need a little more time. You don't have We have more no time. way of knowing what is happening on the Seraphim side of the rift. What if they are constructing an arch on that side as well? We cannot take that chance. We are out of time. Look what happened when you came out of hiding. What do you think is going to happen if you die? Things will go from bad to worse. The Seraphim represent our greatest threat. Without them, Kale is nothing. She is easily defeated. But the Seraphim are a danger as long as the rift remains. It must be closed. Commander, you have your orders. You gate immediately. Yay. What, how does she expect, if they are building an arch on the other side, how exactly does she expect to, to end that process on the Seraphim side? Like, when they get this rift made, they just launch a bajillion de experimentals out of it and destroyed Earth. So what exactly do they have on the other side that she intends to kill by herself? I don't know. And you will never know, because Supreme Commander 2 didn't actually finish this at all, really. I've been ordered to provide you with reinforcements, Commander. Just don't go thinking this makes us friends. Blah, blah, blah. You if you play the campaign with Cybern, you actually have all three races at, uh, during this mission, because you have two sub-commanders from each side, as you see there. Here and are lag. reinforcements, champion. Use them to bring glory to the princess. Okay. Riza out. You know it's a serious business mission when you start Champion, off with an experimental. Fletcher and I will soon move against the Seraphim. Okay, so I want conquer the enemy base UEF in your guy. area and join us in our attack. To be up out. here. I want the UEF guy up here. Got green you. lights across the board, Commander. Is that Fletcher you is to your upgrade. northeast and Riza is to the northwest. Both will assist as able. HQ out. Meaning they do basically nothing, by the way. Our attack begins. Uh. Glory to the princess. Attack I'm basically gonna bum rush this base here very shortly. Because what I want to do is I want to take over this base right here, obviously I just mentioned that, and use it with the UEF commander here as a defense outpost, because he has the uh, the Tech 3 point defenses. Um, what I will do in the meantime is kind of dependent. I need more mass, apparently. Why am I using negative 124? That's insane. Oh, it's because those two. Good god, they're taking a lot of mass to build this. Okay, well. Whatever. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use um, my sub commander here to build some. Whatchamacallum? Some factories. Because I can, and be quite frankly, because uh, my other commander's not even upgraded yet, so. I don't know why I'm building them like that. Whatever. Probably because I can. So. These people are actually getting shot by something, and I wasn't paying attention there. Always good sign. The first thing I need to build over here is a SAM site. Uh, stop the trees, Jesus. Because of all these planes that fly around, you're not going to really need uh, a ground defense for a little bit, anyway. I am going to need some defense back here as well, shortly. Um, you're done, so guess what you're going to do? You are going to upgrade again. I need him upgraded immediately to um, 
tech three. He's not useless unless he's or he's not useful unless he's tech three, so there's not a whole lot I can do. And that is why I need defenses over here. Which I will do shortly with these. And by shortly I mean quite a while away because they take forever to build. But it's all good. So I can't do anything with those. I think those should all be upgraded. Yes, okay, okay. Doing good. It's a good start. We haven't exploded yet. And we're getting shot by missiles already. Not a good start there. There is a couple experimentals over here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. But freaking missiles and artillery and just all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, and the next thing I need down here is actually a shield, which I'm going to throw right there and right there. Because I need the shields, obviously, against uh, those freaking missile launcher doohickamajigger majiggers. Whatever you want to call them. Sadly, I'm running out of mass, so I might actually have to delay those. And get those two built up. Because they take quite a bit of mass, these things. Um. Screw it, just build one of those, why not? Sort it out later. Why were you firing your laser backwards, bro? I don't know. If you need mass, you can uh, go ahead and suck up that experimental fat boy up there, which I'm probably going to do here shortly. Um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and throw out an engineer and just send him down there. I'm not going to use these factories for much of anything until they get to at least Tech 2, because they really can't do anything. That, by the way, is an anti-nuke. You start the mission with an anti-nuke, that's always a good sign. Um, and it's set to build automatically, it starts the mission with the build command set up. Is that Tech 3 artillery shooting at me, or what? Leave my dudes alone. I need these guys to actually be out here soaking damage, but I'd prefer if they didn't die. Sadly, it looks like I might lose another one here. Yep, lost another one. Because the stupid SAM sites all shoot the same thing like retards. Whatever. Whatever. So, uh, they actually killed them nice. So we're going to have the shields up soon, which is good. I, is that an experimental... It's awfully suspicious, given that it's walking by itself. I don't like that. If there's something walking by itself, I usually tend to assume that it's an experimental, but luckily that usually doesn't come out to be true, but you never know. I didn't line that up right. Picky about that, gotta line it up right. You guys need to upgrade. It's not, okay. Gotta be careful with things like that, you never know. Once he's done with his uh, stuff over here in the power plant, I'll have him start building some point defenses. And a radar, actually. I think I have a Tech 2 one back here. Do I? Yes. Tech 2. It never starts me with a freaking Tech 3 one for some reason. It's terrible. So he's doing that. You are almost done, which is good. Which I'm actually going to have him build the other shield. And then start building some power plants, because we need power. We also need mass, but power first, because of all these shields is going to kill our power quite badly. Um, otherwise, yep, just waiting. We are just waiting. So you are going to need to build a few of these. Oops. And then I'm going to have him build some more mass. Because I need the mass, quite frankly. Hello, Lone Phantom. How is you? And laser beams. These things are ridiculous. They're less ridiculous than they were in the original one, but they're still ridiculous. Uh, mass is negative, but it's only negative two, so we should be fine. He's re he's going to be reclaiming that for a decade. The pale is becoming increasingly desperate. And the order has descended into madness. Oh no. Out. I'm not sure what that matters, but whatever. That Galactic Colossus will be there for quite a while. I don't think anything he's gonna send over here will probably be able to kill him, so. My little engineer is still reclaiming. Let's see. 
It's okay, Lone Phantom. If you can't watch, it's all good. It doesn't really affect me terribly much. I'm building one of those. Did my dude finish reclaiming it? or No, we're just low on power because he built that thing. That's why I want the power plants right there, is because uh, shields take a lot of power, especially when you only technically have four power plants, it looks like. Yeah. Technically only two, because a bunch of tier two ones, but whatever. And then uh, we're going to need some more power. Again, because I like power plants. Like so. And I'm going to need to throw out more shields. And those are still upgrading, and I feel like I need to burp. Turns out I didn't need to burp. They've got some artillery back here laying into my shields, it looks like. That looks like it might actually be Tech 2 artillery. And I don't have any point defense back there, so I don't want them getting over there. He needs to stop reclaiming. Because I don't need that mash right now. And we should be good. I can't... Uh can't do terribly much, but I can get those up. Whoa. You go that way, he'll handle this. Those are all tech one, yeah. So they're starting to lay into the opposition quite heavily, or the offense quite heavily, I should say. He's almost done with that, that's good. You idiots, kill that, please. Shooting at my Colossus, how dare they. And once they're done, they can come back over here. Alright, doing good. Building some engineers. And by some, I mean a bajillion. I'm going to, uh... My ugly mug looks interesting. Thank you, kind sir. I'm going to use those, uh... Specific engineers to assist my commander whenever they're done. That's a lot of engineers, by the way. For a reason. I actually might have them assist this guy. Um... What's the range on that? Hmm. I'll have the first group assist him. The second group assist my commander. There we go. We are set on that, and those are going to need to upgrade again here shortly. Actually, you know what? Let's. I can't afford that. Never mind. I just watched my mass drop horribly. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That's not good. Those shields should hold indefinitely, as far as I know against most of the stuff this guy sends at you for the first bit here. And there goes the Gatling Cannon shot for two seconds. Those Gatling Cannons are fantastic weapons. Um, I need flak over here is what I need, actually. Most of those, yeah, the ground defenses can't really do anything against those. He killed everything over here because he's a Galactic Colossus. You, guess what? Build more shields. Don't go over there. Build a shield over there. Build one right there. Can't build one over there. I'm gonna need shields everywhere. Will I be building the infinite resource thing again? Yes. Because infinite resources. I probably won't be building it for quite a while, though, so... Because I really... I need to set up a, an... Uh, independent economy separate from that that can at least handle the factories because I am more than likely going to lose it several times if, if everything goes as normal I'm probably going to lose it several times I need flak please to there to there may as well build some right there there we go you killed those good job that artillery needs to die eventually okay doing good, we're doing good. We should, for some reason, we had 700 mass for a second there. I'm not sure why. Looks like I don't need that. Actually, I may. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Go ahead and go back to reclaiming that, Mr. Engineer. He's not gonna be able... To, yeah, there's no way he's gonna be able to support that much negative. Although, he, this guy's almost done. So. Gatling cannons. We that shield's almost dead, actually. That one covers everything anyway, though, so we should be good. How many artillery are they shooting over here? Jeez. That might be actually Tier 3 mobile artillery, I'm not sure. I know he builds Tech 3 mobile artillery, I just don't know when he builds it. I'm um, sure. That's actually not a good trajectory. 
because that's heading straight at the only place in my base without a shield. Don't kill my engineer, bro. Thank you. Okay, and I'm gonna need some flak in my main base as well here. Stop doing that. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm gonna need a few engineers on this shield for now. Just for now. Maybe more than that, I'm not sure. Let's get another one on there. Okay. Too many things hitting that shield. Wasn't really expecting that much damage, because these things have a lot of health. Although the Aeon ones have more, actually. I wish it showed you how much the shield health had, because they have hit points, obviously. It just doesn't show it. Which is kind of irritating, but whatever. And I um, wasn't paying attention. You need to go back to the fat boy, please. This is my source of infinite resources at the beginning of this. It's not infinite, by the way, but it is. it lasts a very, very long time with a Tech 1 engineer. Um, now, I'm going to just go ahead and deck this out with artillery. Because artillery, and because I can, mainly. There is one thing you have to be careful about is there is a hill right there. Um, so it's not actually a very good front base because they can't actually shoot south, which uh, is something to keep keep in mind. You can't use that for the rest of the match, I just use it for now, because they come in from this direction mainly, so you can lay in some fire pretty easily on them. Um, oh, there goes all of my mass, even with this guy reclaiming. I may have should have built two, I'm not sure. Is there a mod that shows you the shield HP? I think there is, if I'm not mistaken. So you're done with that. That should free up quite a bit of mass. Yep. In fact, that freed up enough mass for it to not matter. You all go back to helping him. I guess I'm going to have to macro the crap out of this place over here. Because their attacks don't look even. Like, maybe they're on a patrol over here. Maybe that's what that is. Look how much damage that does, though. That's insane. Yeah, I need engineers on that, otherwise it's going to drop from that much damage. Which is disappointing, to say the least. You're done. Shields are covering enough of the base. So I'm going to build some flak. And when I say some, I mean quite a bit. It's usually, well, I should just say a bit of flak instead of some. So that should be good. I can't build a paragon yet, because I can't afford to. I don't need one of those, really. Um... I'm going to go ahead and build more factories. This mission uses a lot of factories, by the way, if you haven't figured that out yet. I, well, I mainly use a lot of factories. You don't have to, but, I mean, I usually use at least 12 factories. Sometimes more. Why can they not, they can reach, why are they not shooting it? Oh, because of the stupid slope over there. Stupid slope. Oh, yep, they're using Tech 3 stuff now, so... Once again, though, Colossus shouldn't matter. In fact, I'm just gonna walk him right up next to him. These siege tanks will do some damage to him, but he, he has too much hit points for it to matter at this point. There is... something right there. What is that? I bet that's a siege tank, actually. Yep, sneaky siege tank. Their siege tanks are amphibious, so keep, in, keep that in mind. They're a little sneaky sometimes. Uh, he's still reclaiming that. Stop doing that, please. This place is getting shot to crap. And what I want to build down here is a radar. Whenever he's done with that giant blob of artillery he's got. That shooting at a scout. Fantastic. Whatever. Don't care. Don't matter. Let's see. So those are all Tech 3, which means I can start my Tech 3 Engineer blob, and then I can start my Assault. How many anti-air do I have? Apparently... There we go. Okay, I hate... The, the problem with this mission is when I try to double-click things to select them, because I've got at least two different... Well, actually, you can technically only have one. Right now I've got two different nations here. It won't select all the anti-air because they're technically different units, and would you idiots build faster? 
Here, get out of the way. Go down here and do something, I don't care. Oops, no, you guys need to stay on that. My engineers, my Tech 2 engineers are getting in the way more often than they're actually being helpful right now. So I'm gonna move them. How about that? I'm smart. You guys, guess what? Upgrade. I don't usually use air factories on this, I usually just use experimentals in place of air units. Um, I mean, the, you can use air units to some pretty good effect, and they just flew right through that shield. Which was really lame, I have to say. I may have to reposition that shield, actually, because they just flew right through that. What if I do one there and one over here? Just, by the end of this, I'm going to have shields out the wazoo. It's just insane, usually, how many shields I have. Um, I need, actually, you guys can keep doing that. You and your Tech 2 Engineer Army. Actually, Tech 3 Engineer Army. Because these guys are going to patrol. That. Tech 1 guy, where are you at? There you are. Go back to doing nothing, please. I usually have defenses on essentially all sides of my base because, uh, quite frankly, spoiler alert, you need defenses on all sides of your base. Um, quite frankly, I usually often get attacked from every single possible direction, so I usually do that. And that'll typically cover it. And then I'll just line that with those, and he'll be good. Okay, let's go ahead and build some snipers, because why not? I should be good now to speed it up. The first time in this mission, 19 minutes in, that I've sped it up. I'm going to go on a small assault with my Colossus. I'm going to back off my assault with my Colossus, because there's a freaking experimental right there. I'm just going to sit him right here and kill a bunch of stuff, and then run away and answer the phone real quick. I'll be right back, sorry. And we're back. Back to running away with my experimental. I like how he's still using Tech 1 stuff back there. Um, the reason I ran away is because he's got patrols around his base of air units, and I don't have a way to kill air units right now. Is this new shield layout going to work better? Yes. Okay. What are you doing? Nothing. You are doing nothing. Well, I have no mass. Good lord, I have absolutely no mass. That is atrocious. You know what that means? Mass farms, specifically the diagonal variety. I actually prefer the diagonal variety of mass farms. I don't know why, I just do. You can all, they're actually a bit more condensed than the square version, as long as you have obviously a diagonal direction you can go in, because uh, you can do double up on them like this. Which is actually negative power, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hello, UK. I think it's negative power, anyway. It takes 2,500, or it gives 2,500. Takes... That's only taking from one. Well, I don't know how much it takes until I build one, so... You idiots. Are they done building? Yes. Go sit right there and snipe some things. Actually, go sit over here figure it out themselves, so let's see how much it takes, actually. Or not, because I'm building another power. Whatever. Didn't need that anyway. So those are done. Those are all upgraded now. Yes, yes, okay. Which means... Giant mass production of units. And when I say giant mass production of units, I quite literally mean it, because 12 factories, that's a lot of units per second. Or per minute, I should say. And I've got engineers patrolling around, so they'll start assisting them and killing my mass like it's their job. Okay, so they take 625 times 6. Yeah, that's positive power. Never mind. There's my snipers. One-shotting things like it's their job. And now you see why 12 factories is ridiculous. Because of this giant stream of units that can come out of your base. 
Uh, this mission, you kind of need giant streams of units, and I'm probably going to use the, uh, at least more often than I normally do, I'm going to use the loop function on the factories quite a bit. Are you done, Mr. Commander? Who's that? That's, that's the UEF guy, right? Yes, he's done, finally. So he can go ahead and actually, you know what? No, back off. All those engineers are going to go help now. I want him to actually build one of these. Build me a fat boy. That's going to maul my mass, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Whatever, we'll sort that out. Then we're going to need shields all over this thing. We're going to probably throw some anti-air around it as well. Haphazardly, so they don't all shoot the same stupid thing. And that'll be good. Then get him back to there. Those are all done. And the fat boy's done. Actually, no, I want all of that. Whoa! Just dragged my window. Sorry there. Um, there's no way I can fit that, is there? I can do that, kind of. Fat boys are really good. Uh, long range, destructive things of death, as you can see there. Um, I like you. I like building them mainly for base defense, and that's probably what I'm going to use several of them for. I'm going to have a few of them in my base for defense here. Whenever that gets set up, uh, I don't need both of you. I just need the one of you. And time to attack. I don't want to completely kill off all of his base, I just want to cripple it for now. And then I'll back off some. I am probably not going to build the Nova. Or whatever it's called. Novax. I don't even know what it's called. Kill it, Jesus. Okay. So I'm gonna back off and I'm gonna have my fat boy sit here until he dies, basically. See how much he can do here. Go, go, fat boy. Fat boys are ridiculous. If if you don't have some way to kill them before they get into range of your base, they can sit well outside of range. I drove them into it for a reason. They can sit well outside of range of your defenses and just unload into it. It's pretty crazy. Um, so I'm going to lay out some fat boys here for defense. One up there. One in the back. And you know it's serious business defense when I'm using experimentals for it. So that one should be done soon. You, your next task is to build, guess what, a paragon. Um, I might not actually build a paragon till the second objective, because it expands out that way and I can build it over here. Might save it for that. So you two up there. You. Someone wanted me to build this, by the way. Maver, that's what it's called. Um, and the fat boy can technically actually run stuff over and kill it. I think it can. Maybe it can't? No, it can't. It doesn't have the status for it. The status it requires is massive, I believe. And if it has massive, it can run stuff over and kill it. I know the spider bot has it. Um, Another good thing to build is the Novax. They're relatively cheap. Um, I'm probably just going to build a few Atlantis back here. That should be good. I'll use them. I'll prim primarily use them for kind of naval defense. Just have them sit there and build stuff. Because they are factories. The Fat Boy is a factory, and the uh, Atlantis is a factory. UEF like factories, if you can tell. If you're able to get that much, the UEF really like their factories. So you're done. I don't really like Tempests. Uh, whoops. I wasn't paying attention there. Main, mainly because they uh, they have some issues with moving. Those guys are going to get killed. Oh, mm, maybe not, actually. Yeah, they survived. Okay, well, I didn't think I had that much anti-air capable of hitting out there, but whatever. Uh, these are submersible aircraft carriers, and I'm instantly going to submerge them, because I don't need them on the surface right now. Um, tell them to loop, and I'm going to build two gunships and 